Okay, let's cast off here. I literally launched right over there. Uh, I only did a little short run up here because I want to fish this corner and then I want to start fishing along the western side of Bud Lake right away. You know, I don't want to, I didn't want to fish this little section here. Not too many fish come out of that spot. But I'm going to fish from this dock, you know, in this corner here and then pretty much all the way down. That's probably at least about a mile or two of good, you know, fishing structure here along this western shoreline of Bud Lake. So let's get to the fishing. Alright guys, well I'm going to start off early this morning throwing a little tiny Rapala rattle trap and uh, I'm going to try and kind of search for some fish this morning. Bud Lake only has about a foot visibility, sometimes less visibility than that. Today it looks like about a foot and that's why I'm fishing this rattle trap in this uh, you know chilly upper 40 degree water because I'm trying to trigger a reaction bite from any of the pre-spawn largemouth that are pushing up shallow right now. Right now I'm kind of just like yo-yo fishing it. I'm basically dropping it down like near the bottom or sometimes even on the bottom and then I'm ripping it up and then letting it drop down again. Most of the times you're gonna you're gonna get a bite from a bass on the fall like almost all the time especially when the water's cold like this. You're kind of just pulling it along and then you just drop it right down in front of his face and they just react to it. Fish on, but it's not a bass, it's a pickerel. <laughs> oh, darn. First fish of the day, a snot rocket pickerel. Okay, please don't break me up. He hit it on the fall. Just what I wanted, but I would have liked it to come from a bass. Or at least a pike. There's but there's pike in Bud Lake. Big big northern pike. Okay, that's a chubby, chubby pickerel, probably a female. Nice fish though. Woo! Okay, let's get a nice release on this cool pickerel. Oh, there she goes. Woo! Alright, well, wasn't a bass, but, you know, it was a fun fish to catch on that little rattle trap. So, let's keep fishing. See if I can get a bass at least. Fish on. Fish on. Oh my gosh, another pickerel. Right after I just caught that last one, I caught another pickerel. Ugh, so there's fish here, but they're just the wrong species. There he is. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a fat little perch. Okay nice fat little perch. So there's fish here where I'm fishing. I guarantee you there's a, a few nice bass around here on this grass flat, but you know they're probably just really lethargic right now because of that huge air temperature drop we had. You know it was a big cold front, so they're kind of probably just adjusting to the, uh, the weird weather pattern we had. I just hooked a, set, a crayfish. Look at that. There was a crayfish that came up and tried to, tried to like, you know, it was attached to my little bitsy bug jig. Wow, I've never seen that happen before. And uh, 
you know, I felt like slowing it down a little bit because right now the sun is about, you know, at its midday high right now and it's going to be baking the shoreline and heating up the trees that are getting sunned. You know, it's going to heat up the shallows here and it's going to cause some bass to, be, to push up into the shallow water. And actually, I was on this lake yesterday fishing and I was throwing a black and blue bitsy bug jig and I caught one bass and a pickerel. I think I got a fish right now. There he is. There he is. There we go. It definitely paid off switching to the little bitsy bug black and blue jig. There we go. This is going to be my first keeper of the day. Woo! Nice chunky bug lake bass right there. Wow, look how stubby this fish is. Look how stubby he is. He's got a big head. Woo! One pound, nine ounces. Nice fish. Nice little chunk. Good way to start the day. First fish of the day. Woo! Fish on. Oh my god. On the spinner bait. <laughs> it's not a bass though, again. This thing hit like a ton of bricks. I thought it was gonna be a nice sized bass. Oh my gosh. So many snot rocket pickerel around. Oh this is a chunky one though. Bud Lake is known for its its pike. And it's kind of funny I can't even catch a pike today. Look at how much that pickerel choked down that spinnerbait. Wow, that is phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal meaning bad. <laughs> Luckily he's not bleeding yet. I'm gonna have to use the jaws of life here to open him, open him up so I can get that spinnerbait out of him. He ate the trailer hook and the regular hook. He ate everything. <laughs> I caught this pickerel on, just that nice little spinnerbait though. There she goes, there she goes. Alright, well, <laughs> you know, so far today I've caught three pickerel and a perch. For whatever reason I can't find any bass, but I'm gonna keep burning that little uh, spinnerbait. I'm gonna keep burning this, you know, this little spinnerbait here and, uh, you know, see hopefully if I can get a reaction bite out of any bass that are hopefully sitting along the uh, shoreline here. It's getting really warm right now. The sun's the sun is, you know, in like it's full, full midday glory right now. So the shallows are going to start getting heated up. Those fish are going to start migrating towards those shallow water, and hopefully uh, some of those fish are going to be bass. But uh, let's keep fishing. There he is. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> First bass of the day. Woo! There we go. I don't even think he's 12 inches, but it's a chubby little bass and <laughs> first bass of the day woo <laughs> and uh, on the bitsy bug jig and let's see what time it is it only took me till three o'clock to get my first bass of the day and that fish was really tight like right on the shoreline this jig barely even was in the water and this little guy just chomped it down looks like a chubby little female maybe but I don't know it's probably not even a keeper. I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother weighing it. Probably probably like an eight ounce bass. <laughs> Maybe like 10 inches or something. Uh, he's 11 inches. About 11 inch little baby bass. There he is. Oh my gosh. That is not a bass. That's a monster white perch. <laughs> Did not expect that. I guess that's kind of a good bonus fish. <laughs> that's a nice chunky white perch. I don't even know how he got that in his mouth. Here you go, little buddy. All right, guys. Well, it's getting towards the end of the day, and uh, I picked up this spinner bait, and I'm kind of working my way back to the ramp. And uh, I decided to fish the spinner bait along this windswept shoreline here. And uh, I'm hoping to try and find one more bass that I can hopefully get to react to the spinnerbait. 
Uh, you know, I caught one today, one small one, and then I caught one decent size, uh, you know, largemouth yesterday. So I'm looking just to catch one more than I did yesterday because, you know, two is better than one. But uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to keep grinding out this uh, spinnerbait, and I'm, and I'm pretty much going to work my way all the way back to the ramp. Oh, there he is. Fish on. Oh, it's a pike. That's not a bass. That's not a bass. That's a nice pike. Oh, that's a pike. <laughs> now I get a pike towards the end of the day. <laughs> that's funny. Been fishing all day, and all I can catch are pickerel. And then finally, I get a nice pike. Oh, stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Just on the spinnerbait. <laughs> okay. Things are crazy. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I can admit, admit it right now, probably, that you guys probably just witnessed me catch the biggest pike that I've ever caught in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. Not a monster, but decent in my book. Okay. Just on that spinner bait. Wow. He choked it. He choked it just like the pickerel that I had before. Oh, good thing I, good thing I have these jaws of life here. But these jaws of life almost aren't even strong enough to open this pike's mouth. All right, I got the spinner bait out. He's just hooked on the trailer hook right now. Okay, got it. Woo! Finally. I'm not gonna weigh her, but I'm just gonna get a quick measurement on how long this pike is. Uh, about 25 inches, not a, not a bad sized pike. There she goes. All right, guys, well, I'm working my way back to the boat launch. I'm going to call it for the day. And, uh, you know, today was a pretty decent day. I mean, I really had to work for my fish. I threw spinner baits, rattle traps, and uh, my early springtime favorite, a little tiny bitsy bunk jig. And um, I was able to catch some, you know, some decent fish. You know, I was targeting bass today, but, you know, I was only able to catch one. You know, very similar to yesterday, I was only able, able to catch one, one bass like you saw. And uh, yesterday the bass was bigger. Today, was, today the bass was only about 10 inches or 11 inches. Uh, but at least I caught one. And, uh, you know, then at least I caught some uh, decent sized pickerel today. A few perch and, uh, you know, that one, uh, that one big pike. So, in my book, today was a pretty decent day. And um, I have a feeling I didn't do too well today with the bass is because the last few days have been really, really, like, erratic and weird weather patterns. And we've, we've had really, really warm weather and rainy and humid weather. And then all of a sudden, like today, the temperature dropped to around 25, 30 degrees. And, you know, then, we, you know, and it kind of was fluctuating a lot, the, uh, the air temperature. And bass usually don't like when the air temperature fluctuates a lot. They like consistent weather patterns. That's what largemouth like. So, you know, that's why I probably didn't do as well as I could have done, you know, today. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any questions, just post it in the comment section below. Or look in the description below, uh, you know, so you can know what tackle I was using and how I was catching fish. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys out on the water. Peace.